On a recent weekend, I ventured out of New York City and headed upstate. I took the trip to get away from the hustle and bustle of the big city and for the opportunity to meet one of my favorite photographers. This is Marcel the Rooster. He took this photo, and this one, and this one. He did it using the chicken cam. The chicken cam is pretty simple, but also sort of not. Essentially, it's a DSLR camera that's connected to a motion sensor and flash, which are all housed in weatherproof cases. They're hooked up to a Raspberry Pi computer, which runs software that was programmed by Jacob Bajani. When a chicken walks in front of the sensor, the camera and flash go off, capturing a photograph, which the Raspberry Pi then uploads to the website chicken.photos. The photograph is posted there, sent to the Twitter account at chickens, no idea how Marcel got that primo handle, and to top it all off, a handful of the photographs are then minted as NFTs and sold. Like I said, it's pretty simple, but also kind of complicated. This is Noah Kalina. He's Marcel's assistant. He helps out with odd jobs around the property and assists Marcel in this operation. Marcel keeps him pretty busy around the studio. Now, I know what you're thinking. There's no way chickens are smart enough to create art. I thought so too. I mean, where else did the term bird brain come from? But it turns out, chickens are much smarter than we give them credit for. Scientists have shown that chickens are behaviorally sophisticated and may even have a good sense of time, which is more than I can say for some of my human friends. Studies also show that chickens can discriminate among other individuals and can even exhibit Machiavellian social interactions, i.e. do not with Marcel. They were even worshipped in Britain in the Iron Age between the 5th and 3rd centuries BCE. So maybe they were gods, but how about photographers? According to the chicken.photos website, yes. It explains that, quote, the chickens are using an input device, the motion sensor, to invoke a computer function, the capture method on the Pi, which invokes a series of events that result in the photograph being taken, uploaded, and shared. This is identical to a human being using an input device, tapping a button, to invoke a computer function, the post method on Instagram, which invokes a series of events that results in the photo being taken, uploaded, and shared. Marcel does make a good point, and in the process, calls into question a fascinating aspect of art, which is intention. I feel like some people view art as a person sitting down in front of a canvas and executing some preconceived vision, like a portrait or a landscape. And the success of the piece, or its very validity as art, stemming from its faithfulness to that thing. But there's a lot of great art that leaves room for randomness, chance, or unknowable forces. Walter D. Maria has a piece in New Mexico called The Lightning Field, which consists of 200 steel poles in a field that invite lightning strikes, which does or doesn't occur at the whim of Mother Nature. Or how about something like Marina Abramovich's Rhythm Zero, which involved Abramovich sitting in a chair in front of 72 different objects and allowing the audience to do whatever they wanted to her with any of the objects. Or how about this? I made it using an AI art generator. I just put in the words drunk clown and it spat it out. All that aside, I just really love these photographs. There's such a sense of drama and action in them. They remind me of some of my favorite street photographers. There is a certain unguarded, random serendipity to them. After spending all this time looking at Marcel's work, I knew that I had to have one of these NFTs. I had in fact never bought an NFT before, so I figured this would be the perfect foray into crypto. The NFTs mint for about 0.05 ETH, which at the time of my writing this is roughly $85, which is pretty affordable. But the problem is these NFTs sell fast. Most of them are sold mere minutes after being minted. And they go up at unpredictable intervals. Some days there's five for sale and others there's none. So I set about trying to get one. I checked the site constantly. I set an alert for the Twitter account, which gave me a notification when one went live. But even that wasn't fast enough. I even thought about bribing Marcel with some premium chicken feed to give me a heads up when one was about to drop. But I didn't want to get indicted for insider trading or whatever. For days and days, I tried really hard to buy one of these NFTs, and I couldn't. It was even starting to affect my sleep. Finally, I gave up. And just as I began to fall into a pit of despair, something happened. 
Noah texted me a photo. It was one of the images that the chicken cam captured while I was filming Marcel at work. I like to think that Marcel took it of us to commemorate our time together. And to me, it's better than any NFT.